Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Spelunky HD. Let us begin. So, last episode, we, we were absolutely destroyed by a rogue yeti that decided to throw us off a fucking ledge while in the middle of the ice caves and the ice caves have a bottomless pit which you generally don't want to fall into and that was our death that was after we already consumed the onk so yeah we we were not in the, the best of uh, of situations over there it kind of sucked but uh, you know, these things sometimes happen. There was potential in that run to get to Yama, though. I will admit that. So, uh, I will not uh, give up just yet. I really think that we... Had we not be uh, ended up in that uh, up situation, I, feel, I generally think we would have reached, at the very least, Olmec. so close to making this jump but we just cannot we have to use a rope okay whatever let's move on so let's see if we can replicate this this time like i don't i mind in the short term when i die when i'm really close to getting to all mech but uh, realistically that's a good sign like that's the sign that i'm doing well and i know that i'm handling myself quite well when i get close to getting to all mech because all mech is a pretty difficult boss to get to. Oh, we got a Kali altar on this floor. Olmec is a pretty difficult boss to get to. And uh, surviving Olmec is even more difficult. But if you manage to do that, that's the sign that you are in a good fucking... Uh, that you're playing well at the very least. Let's sacrifice this damsel. We get a paste. Which is nice. So, I want to grab some bombs, so let's uh, do that. Let's also buy the mystery box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's the fucking jetpack. Oh, that was so goddamn worth it. Okay. We, we're doing fucking nice this run. Let's see if we can maintain this. Like, we, we're doing amazing. Like, I don't give a shit about the fucking darkness level. We we are doing fucking nice as hell. Don't just... Uh, whatever. Another Kali altar. That's even better. I need a damsel. If this floor ha would have a damsel and she would be easily accessible, that would be so fucking awesome. There is a helper, or a slave, I guess I should say, in the shop, which I can purchase and sacrifice if I wanted to. But I would rather do, do so with a damsel. I think slaves are worth less than, than damsels. I, I, I can't really remember. Like, I watched the Spelunky 101 uh, Kali Altar video made by someone way more competent than me at, at this game. But I can never remember what I uh, watched in it. Like, there was a specific ranking of entities. Oh, nice, two crates. There was a specific ranking of entities of which are more valuable to Kali when sacrificed and which are not. So, uh, but I, 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 for the life of me, I cannot remember what there was. But sadly, I don't think we'll, we will get a damsel on this floor. Apparently, there is simply none. Oh no, I, I heard her. I heard the damsel. So let's try to see if we can get to her. Yeah, she's right over there. Let's try to get to her. Without angering the shopkeeper. Preferably. Oh fuck, we blew her up. God fucking damn it. Okay, uh, 
Let's sacrifice our corpse anyway. That's uh, way less valuable. And you know what? I will buy a fucking slave as well. And I will sacrifice the, sl the slave while he is alive. Oh, we did get the Kapala anyway. Okay, so that was worth it. So we bought a slave, we sacrificed it, and in the end we got a Kapala. I don't know if sacrificing the the damsel's body contributed much to that, or if we would have gotten the the Kapala uh, anyway just for sacrificing the slave. I'm not entirely sure about that. But either way, we we are doing fine. Like we're. We're in the mines and we already have the jetpack, the paste, the kapala, and the wood jedi. These are valuable fucking items to have on you. So uh, I'm not particularly worried about our progress. I oh, and we also have this, got the spike shoes as well. And, and we also have 15 bombs, which is so fucking nice. Let's grab this damsel. So I'm not particularly worried about anything. I think we're doing extremely well for this stage in the game anyway. Oh, oh, oh wait, we do, not, we do not have the Ujerai. What the fuck am I saying? Like, we we need to get the Ujerai. We do not have the Ujerai, just... Oh, shit, no, no, no! Fucking arrow trap, man. It's always the fucking arrow traps that get you. Okay, let's get rid of this big spider. Since it's really fucking annoying me, and I really don't want to deal with his bullshit. Yeah, just like that. And we already recovered some he some health. Like, we started this level with three hearts worth of health, I believe, and now we have four. Just because of the of using the Kapala. Efficiently. Okay, so we... We need to get the Ujerai. That's non-negotiable. We need to get to heal, and in order to get the, to heal, we need the Ujerai. So let's see if we can grab the Ujerai. The key is up there. Having the jetpack is so easy because we we seldom will have to use bombs anymore. If, uh, I'm sorry, not bombs. I mean ropes. Like ropes are so less useful when you have the jetpack. It's almost incredible. Okay, so now we we also have the Ujerai. And with this, this Ujerai, we should be able to more easily locate the entrance to the black market. And with that entrance, we will then be able to... What the fuck caused those bubbles? With that entrance, we will be able to enter the black market. And once we enter the black market, we can steal the Ankh from the shopkeepers. More ropes, which, like I said, are not particularly useful when you have the jetpack, but I'll take them. Like, the jetpack is such a useful item. I genuinely think it might be the most useful passive item in this game. Bar none. The climbing gloves is also up there, but I think the jetpack is just objectively better than them. And also the Kapala is extremely useful. Between the Kapala and the and the jetpack, I'm I'm really uh, like I'm really indecisive which is better. Technically, I think the jetpack might be better. But only very slightly more better than the the Kapala. Actually, I think it's a tie. When I really think about it, like when I when I uh, contemplate all the use cases for both of them, I really think it's a tie. Like both the jetpack and the Kapala are so fucking useful. I think there it's a tie in this game between what's more useful. But either way, they're the most useful items in the entire fucking game, in my opinion. And then if you have to do a ranking, I would say that... Uh, 
the climbing glo gloves come uh, after. Like the climbing glo gloves would be the third mo mo uh, most useful item in this uh, in this game, passive item anyway. If you in include the active items, then uh, that's a bit more difficult to see. Honestly, I think the shotgun would be the the more useful. I mean, the shotgun is definitely a useful item. I don't know if you compare it to the climbing gloves, though, if it's more useful or less. We keep getting ropes from the crates, which is so fucking odd. Like, give me some bombs already, Jesus Christ, I need bombs. They're my fucking lifeblood. They're, I don't think there's a black market anywhere on this fucking level. God damn it. I would be surprised if there was a black market entrance on this level. The widget high has not blinked even once. Or I, I didn't hear it anyway. Milking these guys for their blood. Just to get really fucking pumped up yeah i don't think there's anything on this level so we're on 2-2 which is the halfway through the jungle i guess so we didn't there is no black market entrance just yet so it the black market entrance has to be in 2 3 i.e this level that we're entering right now If it's not anywhere on this level, then uh, I clearly missed it. But it is somewhere on this level. I can hear the 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 Jedi blinking, so clearly it is somewhere around here. Now the question is, where is it? Sit down there, I don't think I see it. Let's explore a bit. Wait. It has to be somewhere over there. Yeah, right over there. Okay, so we know where the black market is. Now let's see what we can do with their knowledge. There's a crate down there. I kind of want to get to that. Okay, first let's grab the damsel. A and we her for her blood because, you know, bl blood is valuable. Excellent. Now we can uh, deliver her to the exit. Because it doesn't really matter how damaged the damsel is when she gets to an exit. All that matters is for her to be alive. Oh shit, there was a Kali altar. I forgot all about that. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. We already set a pretty nice precedent with Kali. I'm not particularly worried about that. Let's go to the fucking crate down there. I wanna get I wanna get as many as much as much bobs as I can at this point in the game. Bombs are such a valuable resource that you really can't afford to skip over them. And that was definitely worth it. I got 12 fucking bombs just from that uh, crate. So that was nice. That was fucking nice, I will admit that. Okay, let's move on. We have made progress. Now let's win the game. Like this... And this is the game just saying, okay, I'm going to give you a free victory. You almost never get to such a in such to being such a good situation normally. So, do I need to murder the shopkeepers? 
I genuinely don't think that I do. Let's see. I want to buy the compass. That's sixty-four hundred dollars. Also want to buy the climbing gloves. Sixty-four hundred dollars plus what? Plus fifty thousand, which is the the ank. That would mean uh, fifty-six thousand four hundred dollars. And there are no bombs over here. Ah, and the ropes, which is eight hundred dollars, eight thousand dollars. Sorry. So eight thousand plus sixty. F Wait, plus what? Ah, oh, no, we cannot afford it. We cannot afford everything that's around here. So that kind of sucks. But uh, you know. It is what it is. We're going to have to murder the shopkeepers. But I think we will be able to. It will just require a bit of effort from our part, but we, we should be able to do it. Okay. Let's be careful over here. The shopkeepers are always fucking rabid. Once you start uh, murdering them. So be extremely careful what you're going to do. With respect to what you're going to do. Because you do not want to fucking anger them. Needlessly, anyway. Oh no! Fuck, no! No, 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 no! No! God damn it! The fucking shopkeeper just came out of fucking nowhere! Oh, that was such a good fucking run. Now we, we wasted our rank and our fucking life. God, fuck! This was one of those games that you don't get that often, honestly. I messed up. The game really, really helped me a lot this this time around. And I just, I just could not, uh, I could not deliver. Even though the game helped me out so much. So this is entirely my fault. Sorry for uh, for bringing your hopes up. Maybe next time. There's always a next time in Speronki. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.